Hey, this is Troy Taylor with the Championship Football Coaches Clinic podcast. Have my good friend PJ Gibbs coming back on to talk about his three safety uh, defense. Um, appreciate everybody um, coming on tonight. And PJ, it looks like we got 13 people in here, so we're happy. We, I was worried this is the first private <laughs> yeah. one that we've done. So yeah. we, we was a little stressing. But thank you all for showing up. PJ, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you, brother, for doing this for us. No, no problem, Coach. Um, thank you guys for taking time. Um, if you guys have a question, um, right off the bat, uh, there's a comment section um, right there. If you guys want to fire off any questions or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to go over basic philosophy of the defense. Um, all the content information for me is rolling down here. Uh, my personal Twitter, the defense's Twitter, the website, everything like that. So if you guys have uh, any questions at any point, just post them in the in the comments um, comment section, and I will I will get to them. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and share my screen. OK. All right. So um, what I wanted to touch on first um, is kind of the overview of, of, of why we do what we do. Um, and uh, let me get out of this blitz thing. Hey, coach, Rich Reed is in here. Um, That's he, my high school position, coach. OK, you want to add him? You want to add him to the stream down there with you, coach? There he is. Uh there he is. Hey, Coach. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing great. Good. Good. Just trying to get this uh, huddle blitz thing out of here. Load this thing up. Get wrong. Okay. Awesome. All right. Go here. Boom. Okay. So, uh, so just wanted to talk about like uh, uh, basic uh, philosophy and 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 kind of why we do we do things. And one of the things I want to preface this whole the whole seminar with is that um, we're we are not traditionally a three high safety team. So I know when everybody says three high, they think of um, they think of Iowa State, which is where we got our um, the the base basic uh, f uh, philosophy. Um, so, you know, when, when, when we came up with this in uh, the really the fall, at, uh, winter of 2019 going into 2020, um, it was, you know, how to, be, how to get as, more athletes on the field facing a spread offense and, um, you know, what type of personnel do we need to run this? Um, when, we, when we did it initially with uh, the Japanese team, we were very overmatched physically. So, um, you know, so, you know, what we did was I'll start from the front and I'll work my way back for you guys. Um, now, what we did was we used a zero and two fours and we slanted. Uh, so we slanted away from the back against 10 personnel and we slanted to the tight end or to the to the uh, to the wing um, in uh, 11 or, or uh, you know, any type of 11 or, or, or 20 personnel. Um, so that was a kind of our base rule because we wanted to use our quickness and speed. Now, like when we, when we got the chance to zoom with Iowa state, their philosophy was, all right, if it's 10 personnel, they're going to be a zero and two, four eyes, any type of Y in the core, they were going to be a zero and two fives for uh, power or split zone to, to spill. Um, so that, that was, that was their philosophy. Now, what we do at golden gate is we kind of do a combination of things. Um, on, on your screen, you'll see us in two, four eyes, the nose, we're going to slant away from the running back. Um, so that, that's kind of how we do the, the beginning install is two, four eyes and slanting the nose away from the running back. Um, the mic, your mic is a gapped up defender. Um, so the mic is going to, uh, basically he's going to have the a gap closed, B gap closed. Um, the Viper is in an apex minus position. And what I mean by apex minus is that the back is not to his side. So he won't be an RPO. He won't be, he won't be read in the RPO game. So he can fit in the run. Um, so the, you, you have the gapped up mic. The jack is a gap to the football because now you have the B gap here. The A gap is open. Now, obviously, if this thing gets washed and they look to bend this thing back, he's going to fit. And we always tell our guys, don't run into the same color jersey. 
So that that's where even though we do a lot of different things, we're we're a gap control defense. Um, so that's your box. Now, your Viper again, like we said, is an apex minus player. So he's going to get his run pass free from the tackle. We're going to install when we first do this. We're going to install our Tampa Tampa two coverage. So old school Tampa, no outside release, jamming, sinking until number two shows. Free safety inside of two, uh, 10 yards. He's a deep half player. So that's to the side of the Viper. Now, Viper is to the left because ball's in the middle of the field, a right-handed quarterback. We're going to put our Viper to the left. If we're facing a left-handed quarterback with the ball in the middle of the field, we're going to put the Viper to the right. Okay. Now, to this side, we're going to, we're going to play uh, basically mod with the corner, man outside deep. Uh, the, the safety is going to be 10 walking on eight, patting his feet, reading two. Uh, on run, it'll be a sky support. Um, he has all a two vertical. If he reads pass and two goes in or out, um, we're, uh, he's going to look to rob one. All right. And then the rover who in this, in our defense, our rover is our best player because he's got to play in the box, make one-on-one -on -one tackles, play the little hole, play the third. He has to blitz. He has to play up on the line on the tight end. He has to be an edge player. He has to be your guy that if it's a fourth and one and you need somebody to make a play, that's your dude. That that's that's how we have to that's how we have to play it. Um, so what he's going to do is his rule to start is going to be line up over number three. All right, so number three here is the running back. So he's going to be at eight yards over number three. Uh, he's going to flat foot read everything. If he gets run, he's going to look to fit off the jack. And then obviously if he gets zone. He's going to become your quarterback player. So when you guys see banana here, we, we use cones when we teach a banana fit for zone read. OK, and the one thing with him is he's your chess piece. So you're going to kind of game plan with him throughout every week and you can curtail your individual period and your and your inside run period, and your team period and figure out, you know, where do you always want the extra hat? All right. So that's how we walk through the basis of the installation of right. Like so we got spring ball about a month and a half away. So we just did it. We just talked about our install today. So Baylor for us means three down. Okay, Baylor for us means three down. All right. Um, so we have Baylor, we have Georgia, we have Florida, and we have Badger and we have Bear. So we have five different names for, for really five different fronts. Okay, but I'm a big one word guy. I like the kids to, you know, be able to boom, hear it and go. Um, so that's how that's how we're going to first day install, you know, walk through, get on the garbage cans, walk through this getting the nose slanting away from the back. That's our lucky Ringo call. We have our two four eyes here. Our mic is gapped up. Um, now your Jack, here's the thing about your Jack is when we go to our Georgia front, our four, two, five stuff, um, he has to be able to play up on the line and the Rover is going to become that extra backer. Okay. Um, so that's one thing when you're looking at personnel, um, you know, how we do it is all right, I, I need our, our Jack linebacker to be able to play aggressive with his hands, squeeze down blocks. So, that, like, so we, uh, the guys like the Rover, the Viper, and the Jack, they'll do different things on different days individually. So the Viper will go with linebackers one day, DBs the next. The Jack will go with linebackers one day, D-line. If he's going to play, if we're going to play a lot of the four, four down stuff, he'll go with the D-line coach so he can get his hands on squeeze and spill. The Rover will go with the DB, with, with us, DBs, and then he'll go with the linebackers one day. Um, because we have to work different things. And, and again, we, we curtail that week, week by week. All right, I'll go to the uh, next slide here. All right, so numbers for us are the key, okay? So we just looked at a picture of, uh, of 10 personnel, two by two. Now it's okay, let's, let's talk about three by one. All right, so we're in our Baylor front, all right? We check to mint, which is our zero and two, four eyes. Again, we're slanting away from the back. Okay, so this would be a lucky call. So the mic obviously is gapped up. We're four over three to the trips. All right. So we're still playing Tampa here. Okay. And then the rover has all the three vertical. Okay. The rover's got all three verticals. So even a hitch, especially when they go four strong, when the back's over here. Okay. So if the back were to be over here and they like to fake this and they like to throw that. Okay. The rover's taking that away. All right. The mic is obviously gapped up here. All right. The jack is a gap to the football now. We're four over three here. We're two on one here. All right. So we're going to be either blue or Indiana. You guys can see here, blue or Indiana. So the corner is going to determine how we call that. So if, if the X 
is a width where he thinks he can trap it and add to the run game late, he'll make a blue call. So blue, he's going to undercut one and shuffle. And if he gets run, he's going to plant his foot in the ground and take everything out with his inside shoulder. Okay. And the safety will get over top of number one. Now, if we go Indiana. Okay. So if this guy's really wide. All right. We start teaching half invert. So inside half and pedal, then we'll eventually go to man. But now he's now the extra hat in the box. He's looking to take away the slant or curl and then it's sky support away. So that's all based on the width of the X there by the corner. All right. So he'll make the blue or Indiana call, but you guys can see we're four over three. We're two on one. And we have a, we have a force defender dependent on the width of the receiver here. Um, one thing we will do um, in this set, you guys can see down here, um, we have Tampa blue, Indiana. Um, we can play blue to both sides. So we can trap both sides. We get here. All right. And then he's trapping here. All right. He'll get over top. Anytime you have an overhang with blue, like the Viper right here, his rule is he has number two up or in. Okay. So anything vertical, anything in, he's going to take that. We have the safety over top. All right. So we get two vertical. The safety will get over top here. Viper will run with him. Obviously, the rower's got three control. Okay. And then again, we're trapping on that side. So that's another way we can play uh, three by one. Uh, we also can run yellow, which is if we want to double guys. Okay. Uh, our rules for yellow is uh, we make an ace. All right. An ace call. So ace, deuce, tray, and then ace. Okay. So let's say we want to double number two on the left, number one on the right. Okay, so the Viper would align outside. So this would be deuce left, ace right. Okay, and all we tell our guys with the yellow stuff is play your leverage. So if you're outside leverage, play your leverage. Trust that the guy inside is going to do his job. So if we got an under route here, he's driving it, he's zoning off. Okay, we get a, we get a corner route. He plays his leverage. He plays his leverage. He's locked. He's locked, and we're sending some kind of at least a four-man pressure. Uh, gash for us down here is everybody slanting to the back with the mic off the edge. The jack has the back man-to-man, -man. so if the back blocks, the jack can add to the pressure. So, again, going back to the first point about having numbers, um, the one thing this defense does give you is it gives you numbers. Okay, it gives you numbers. Okay. Um, now, this is, this is our Georgia stuff. All right, so a couple of different things we can do in this, all right, when they bring a tight end in the game, is we can line up, all right, just like we are on the screen here, Viper to the right, going to the passing strength. He's an apex minus because the back's away. All right, if the back was two, we tell him plus, so we tell him to slow down and let the quarterback hand the ball off. Don't jump the run fit because they're going to throw that slant or glance right behind you. All right, so here we line up in an over front. All right, so three, all right, and a five shade all right and we're going to be uh in a, in a four safety in the box locked corner locked and you can play tampa or blue to that side okay now if you want to play a slide front okay when the tight ends in the game all slide means is that you're going from over to mint okay so that just means that we're going to slide we're going to stem these guys at the snap to a zero and two four eyes Jack would loosen up, and then we get the safety down in the box. So that's just another way for us to – and, again, your chess piece is in the box now, all right? And we will have some pressures off this. Um, we'll pressure with the mic um, out of this, all right? And we'll basically play, play cover one behind it. So we'll uh, – post-snap, we'll roll to the middle. They're all locked up, okay? What we'll do is we'll stem the mint, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll run our army pressure, okay? Which all that means is that the nose is going now to the back. That's a, that's a, a rule breaker for us. The mic is crossing and the rover will take the back man to man and we're playing cover one behind it. Okay, so that, that's a, a different different look out of, that, out of that Georgia front. All right, uh, here's our bear check. All right, with the tight end in the game. So now we'll stem to bear. So we're old school, zero and two threes. Jack's a five. All right. 
Viper's a, a wide nine. Both those guys are edge box players. Okay. And then we have the rover and a seven technique locked up on the tight end. Okay. Cover one behind it. All right. And we have our mic and we're going to slant our nose to the Y. Okay. So the Y is in the game. We'll slant the nose to the Y. All right. And then the nice thing too is we can run, uh, we can double somebody if we need to, if we want to go yellow. Uh, we can run our joker, our joker pressure. Um, and, and again, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys some clips of that too um, in a second. Uh, but that's just another way to, to um, keep your same personnel on the field uh, without having a substitute. Now, if you want a substitute, if you want to take, you know, if you wanted to take the, the Viper out and put another, uh, put another defensive end in there, really it's all up to you guys and what your kids can do. Um, but what we try to keep our, the same kids on the field unless we have to take them off, like when we're facing a single wing team and we need an extra D lineman in there, we'll, we'll take a linebacker off the field. Um, that's just, that's just kind of how we operate. Okay. Um, 12 personnel wing. All right. How we'll line up to that. All right. Is basically what we'll do is we'll, we'll stem these guys over. Okay. Kind of be a five, three. All right. We have sky support outside. All right. And a lot of times what we'll do is we'll just play old school cover three. We'll play old school cover three. All right. So he'll be your flat dropper. All right, he'll be our flat dropper. All right. Um, but he's got to repass. He's got to get a high hat read to get to the flat, looking to take away that, looking to take, looking to take away the slant. All right, let me get to uh let me get some film here. I'll show you guys our um the Apache stuff. So here's Apache with Army. You'll see it. All right, so here you see where this this was our our inner squad scrimmage. Like so, this was back, all the way back, way back last spring. All right, so you'll see we're four over three here. You can see we're two on one here. You'll see pressure coming from the linebacker. All right, but we have numbers. Okay, corner does a good job. Okay, got to finish the tackle. All right. You guys can see we got they throw the they throw the screen to the running back hit right blocking all right we did we have we just have we have more numbers than they do okay we have more numbers than they do so that that's Apache so we, uh, I'll go to the uh shit, press box it's a little windy that day guys so I apologize if anybody gets seasick so you see our corner trapping undercutting one here. Him over the top, but you can see we got numbers everywhere, even though they're four strong. Okay, we're four on three plus the backer, so we're really five on four. Okay, so that was that was a real good job by by our guys against our offense. So that's Apache. All right. Okay, here's an example of uh, the wing. So this is the rover up on the line. All right, so you can see we're three over two with the rover up. He's got the wing now. You're gonna see you're gonna see an Indiana call being made here. All right, so you'll see our, our safety now come down and make the tackle under the boundary with that extra hat. You see Jadarian walking down. Okay, we spill everything right to him. Okay, uh, about a probably maybe about a half yard gain. Okay, but three over two, even with the rover up here. All right. And then we go Indiana. So we invert down into the boundary. OK, um, he was our defensive MVP this year. He was 140 pounds and he, he, he laid everything out uh, for us. Um, he did. He did a really, really good job. Um, here's a joker pressure I was talking to you about, guy in bear. So this is again, this is our, our start. So we got Viper corner corner. OK, free Mike. And we got our, our two backers and our three linemen standing up. End zone. But we get we get a hurry on the quarterback. We make him throw the ball early. Let me get a pass. A little bit better here, I think. I'll slow it down. Here we get the twist going. All right. Get pressure on him early. Throws it early. Okay, corner makes a heck of a play. All right. Um, let's see where we want to go. Okay. And then, uh, here's our slide. 
I know a reference slide. So this is uh, this is spring practice. Okay, so slide. Here's the viper. So we're over now. We're going to stem the mint. Okay, now he's he's got to know now he's an apex plus player. All right, because the back's to his side. We had is, issues with him. He loves to run to the football. I, I love the kid, but he's got to learn how to slow down. Okay, and that's our rover up on the tight end. Okay, good pressure inside. Almost got a pick. Okay, almost got a pick. All right. But you can see, you know, I'd like us to hold our water a little bit on, on the stem. Okay, they shifted the running back. So I'd like us to, you know, hold, hold our water a little bit before we move. We get good pressure. DNs are fighting through. Good job. Helps when your helps when your kid is uh, helps when your kid is six, six foot three on the edge there. Okay. Um, get to army real quick. This is going back to our. Um, so this this is one of our creeper pressures. I, I really like it because you can get a four down rush. Um, and you know, again, we have the rover up on the line here. OK, um, but you get a four down rush. And what we do sometimes, too, on third and long is we'll make a 55 call for our ends and put them in fives. OK, so we widen these guys a little bit. You can see we get we get real good penetration here. Right. Real good penetration. You can see right now, Mateo does a really good job of, of sitting. He's that apex plus player. See quarterback reading him. He sits there. That lets this opens up for these guys. Okay, so one thing I'll, I'll, I'll stress to you guys too is, um, you know, always any guy that you're, is your overhang here, this is our Viper for, for, for us, um, is, hey, are you apex plus or apex minus? All right, so that that's, again, that plus or minus, plus or minus, you know, getting, the, getting those key words. All right, our guys made a good play. Let me see if there's any um, questions real quick. Any questions? Okay. All right, coach, I'm going to go back to sharing my screen here. Coach, any questions pop up? No, coach. Oh, okay. Is it, are, there, are there still guys in the room? <laughs> Yes, sir. There's 14 people in here. Oh, awesome. Okay. All right. Cool. Awesome. All right. Um, all right, guys. So I'll go back. I'll get my face off here. I'll get back to sharing my screen. Okay. How do you adjust to change in past strength with motion? Co Coach, that's a great question. Um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll have um, – it, depend, it depends on if we're pressuring or not. Um, so if we're sitting in our base, uh, we'll have rules, um, motion to the Viper, motion away from the Viper. Um, so, and I'll, I'll pull up our playbook here in a second, but, um, if we're sitting in our base stuff, just the base Baylor stuff, the three down, um, we'll have, we'll have rules of, um, if they motion to the Viper, we'll probably end up going three buzz, uh, or roll. And then our, our check away from the Viper is always roll. Um, so let me, let me go ahead and share my screen here. Um, coach, uh, corners alignment, uh, for the most part, we teach, uh, everything pressed. We want to show press too high um, in our in our base stuff as much as possible, um, and then and then post snap move uh, open open middle close middle, um, and, and and then the one thing is teaching the trap technique, uh, undercutting one and shuffling, getting your eyes to two, and then if we're playing our cover three, our green coverage, um, we will press bail three, um, you know we'll play you know some 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 press quarters if we need to. But I, I like to keep everything because, again, for me, it's about keeping everything simple for our kids. So if I can tell our corners and every coverage you're going to line up pressed, um, you know, that's that, that that's a great thing for them. Now, what what we'll kind of look at, too, is like 
who's better pressed and who's better playing catch man. And that was one thing we did towards the middle and end of last year. We had a corner that was better at playing catch man when we were playing our zero and cover one stuff. Um, so we let him play catch man as opposed to pressed. So it's really kind of finding out what your kids are good at and letting them excel at that. Um, is it better to have one look or a lot of blitzes? Coach, for me, um, to be honest with you, it's uh, it's really when we meet on Sunday, um, it's what it, what do we need to take away as far as top three run plays, top three pass plays, and what pressures align with with those. Um, so like for us, and, and I'll, I'll pull some clips up here in a second, like we, we ran Panther and Bama uh, a tremendous amount. And the great part about Panther and Bama is it's trap on both sides. Um, Moxie, which is probably our number one call all year. I'll, I'll pull that up in a second. Um, that was uh, trap blue to the trap to the Viper and Tampa to the Jack. Uh, and there was no, even if there was motion, somebody always had three control, whether it was uh, the Mike cutting a three or the Rover cutting a three. Um, in Moxie, the Rover had three up to shoot if, if he was good. I, I'll show you the clips in a second. But um, out of our Florida front, and I'll, I'll show you Cincy, we have seven different pressures out of our Florida front, which is just nose uh, over the center, both ends covering the tackles, and the mic and the jack up on the guards. So we have eight, eight different pressures like that. Um, so I, I guess you, be multiple – but don't be so multiple that your kids get confused. Um, you know, that's why I like the, the Florida front because our kids, boom, they know where to line up. They hear Florida, boom, they know where to line up. Now they're just waiting for the pressure call. That, and, you know, when, you know, when we go, um, you know, Panther for us is the Viper finds the passing strength. Bama, the Viper finds the, the back, and we're blitzing from there. So I'll, I'll go ahead and get, up, get on here and show you guys some stuff. Uh, let me present here real quick. And let's go share screen. Oh, boom, share. Okay. All right. Let's, here we go. All right. So Mox, uh, let's go Panther, Panther first. Okay. Uh, Panther. What I really like about Panther, this was actually, I think the, oh, this is second play of the inner squad. What I like about Panther here is, okay, is here's our Viper. All right. Our Viper's right here. All right, we get a loop to the boundary. Okay, so here's our mic. All right, the rover is going to replace the viper. Okay, so we're playing trap on both sides. So you'll see the corner come in, safety's alignment, it's spring ball. His alignment stinks. He should be over here. Um, so we're going to get a wide rush here, viper underneath him here. Now we're going to get the jack here and a loop by the end. Okay, and we're trapping on both sides. So the mic. His rule is upper end on number two. Now, if you don't want the mic there, you want to put somebody else there, that's fine. That's just how we ran it this year. Rover's replacing the Viper. Rover has number two upper end. We're trapping this side, okay? Um, and I like the the, the, the twist because um, a lot of teams like to screen it, like our offense and the first couple of offenses we played like to screen it to the boundary. Uh, um, so you, you guys are going to see Watch him like the end zone better. So you see the Viper coming. All right, you see the Rover cutting the two. You see the, the corners both showing up. Okay, so Panther, again, Panther and Bama are the same blitz. It's just lining up. Do you want to come from the passing strength? Do you want to come from the back? All right. So let me show you uh, Panther here. Okay, this is we actually stemmed to this. Um, the kids got really good at it during the week, so we stemmed to it. So you see our line slide. So now here's Panther, right? Here's the passing strength. So we're playing trap, right? So we're here. We're going to get a wide rush by the end. Now the loop is what gets us the quarterback sack because they're trying to throw a boundary screen. Rover and Mike both have to cut to two and three. Uh, screen, the uh, quarterback's looking that way. Now, uh, Mateo's got a free run at him. This was, we're up by six points in the fourth quarter. We had this huge, 
huge TFL. Oh, good. A little loop the boundary, right? Beautiful job. Boom. Big play. All right. That was like now. Now it's like third and forever. So now we go Bama. Okay. So now we're okay, so it's the same. Okay, it's the same. We're running now that same pressure to the side of the back. Blowing that up, but but it's the same rules. This, yeah, yeah, buddy. Okay, there's our edge here. Boom, right here. That was too fast. Great job, great job out of our dime stuff. Um, Latin, Coach, last one I'll, I'll show you is, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll go back to some questions, is our Moxie. So Moxie's a, a, a simulator for us. Show six and row four, okay? So the end, end who's a wide rush, end who's a wide rush. We have the nose who's going to try to come through this A gap. This end is going to hit and try to like all right, he's walking around. He's going to loop in the B gap. The jack is up. He's got to run past Reed. So it's Tampa to this side, blue to this side. Now you see the rover getting out because there's speed at three. Okay, so if number three is a guy that can run down the, the, the middle, I tell him don't worry about holding the look in the B gap. Get out. Okay, when I when I learned this pressure from Coach Brown, that's one thing he stressed to me was, listen, you got it. You got it. Speed at three. You got to get your guy out. Okay, the end zone is better. We get a free runner at the quarterback, and we almost get a pick. And then here's Mox. You got. All right, we have our end. All right, we're we always want to show, we, we like to always show overload away from the Viper. Okay, so there's Tampa here. We're trapped here. Okay. Um, so again, we're going to get a wide rush. He's here. He's hitting to here. Mike's going to come here. Jack's got the, the run pass read. Rover can hang. Okay, right now, Rover can hang. Yeah, that doesn't bother us because we have to go out. So that's why uh, you see our rower staying there. Not the quarterback here. And does his job. Mike comes clean. Get a nice hit on the quarterback. Should have had a pick. Go fast motion here. Up. Our offense has trouble all the time. We'll stop sharing. Go back to questions. Coach, okay, let's go back. Uh, uh, Coach Alvarado, I'll get to you. Uh, what what does your personnel look like? Type of that. Okay, so um, we don't have. And then Coach Thomas, I'll get. I'll show you the Cincy stuff. I, I apologize. Um, we uh, so we don't have real big linemen. Um, so our biggest lineman's probably well. It, it, we have one big guy. You know, he's he's two eighty. Um, but me personally, like this year, we're going to be um, operating a lot out of like one down, um, two stand up guys that can also get down into, uh, you know, a two and slant if we need them to. Um, and then like I, I want speed on the field like this. This system, this defensive system is about getting your athletes on the field and and and, and bring and, and again, we're not we're not all cover zero, we're, you know, you know, send eight like. We're we're um, we're very methodical in what we do. So to answer your question, I, I need speed. And your rover again, that rover position has to be your again fourth and one. Who do you want to make a tackle? That that's the kind of dude that guy has to be. Um, so I hope that answered your question, Coach. 
Um, yeah, I can show you, Coach. Yep, let me hop on here real quick, show you Florida. I'll show you the uh, Cincy stuff. All right, let me get to – where is Cincy? It's up here. There we go. Boom. Okay. So, Coach, here let – me, let me get all these squigglies out of here. Okay, so here is um here's our Cincy front. All right, so end backer nose backer end. Okay, and now we're bringing our so so th th so when you hit the kids here in Florida, they know it's five it's five on five. Okay, they know it's five on five. All right, everybody's gonna slant to the field here. Okay, we're playing Tampa to the field. All right, and we're bringing the corner off the edge. And, and we're trapping the boundary. Okay, we're trapping the boundary. Should have had a kill shot. All right. Still get good pressure. Okay, TFL. So that that's Florida. Let me go to... Um, okay, so here you go. You see everybody. One, two, three, four, five. Three over two. Okay, so we're Tampa to the field. All right, here comes the corner again. I love this when the back is to the field because you got a really good feeling that's going to be a free run at the quarterback. This was a, a game-changing play for us. Corner should have zone turn here instead of man turn, but uh, he makes a hat. You see we're, the pocket closing down. All right, we're getting two clean rushers here. All right, forcing the quarterback to throw it early. Gets his head around, huge pick. All right, that, that was a, our, our first game of the year. So that, that's an example of the of the Florida front coach. Um, let's see here. Stop sharing this. See if we got any some more questions. Yeah, coach. So that, that's that's the Florida stuff. Um, you know, and again, when when it comes to pressure, it's what, what what can we do well that takes away what they do well. So like when we meet, it's like, okay, well, what do they do well? Who's their best players? How can we take them away? All right. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll go over, you know, their top three formations. Then we'll go, okay, what are their top three run plays out of each of those three? What are their top three pass plays? And then we'll build our practice plan off of that. Um, so, so again, for us, it's okay. We got, we got athletes on the field. We can run to the football. We stress tackling pursuit every single day. Um, and, and one thing I got to say, our, our, our kids really bought in was I told them in the spring when I when I got there was we're not doing any of the fun stuff until you get your fundamentals down. So until we learn, learn how to just line up and straight Baylor and get our motion checks, we're not doing the Florida front. We're not doing Badger. We're not doing Bear. We're not doing any of that stuff until until we get until we get those fundamentals down. Um, so that that to me is, um, you know, a testament to the guys that brought me up as a player and a coach um, because that was hammered into my head every day for, for four years at Manasquan high school. And then, you know, when I got to coach uh, that, that was, that was something that was hammered into my head on a daily basis. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys. I'll go ahead and show you the, ba the badger front, which if you guys are seeing a lot of tight end or wing um, it's really good. And then I'll show you Sinbad and I'll show you um, Uno. Okay. So Badger for us, now, again, this is empty, right? Okay. They motion to empty. Okay. But now the Rover has the wing man-to-man. -man, okay. And we're zeroed out here. All right. If the back was in the backfield, okay, then what would happen is um, the Rover would be off. And we when we would have one of these guys, if one of these guys was in the backfield, then we, we check the gold. We check the cover one. But here we're going to send more than they can block. Now you see everybody up on the line, so they got to communicate to each other. Um, the rule with Badger is everybody's going to slant, slanting to the rover. Okay, that's our rule. Now we go Spartan. Everybody slants away from the rover. Okay, that's just that's just a change up. Okay, we got an A gap player come clean here. That's our Jack up on the ball. Okay, end zone end zone shot's pretty good. Okay, you're going to see edge here, 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 here. He's locked on him, and we get edge here. But they don't pick up the A-gap defender here. 
Okay, we're zeroed out, so we got to get there now. Okay, that was a, a, a sec, second play of the game. That was the second play of the game. All right, um, another pressure coach um, that we like is um, – so I get a lot of questions about how to handle empty. All right, um, for us, we have uh, two ways to handle empty. We have Zorro and we have Miami. So Zorro is our, our straight six-man pressure, cover zero. Um, running back started here, motion to backfield. Now he's going to come here. Our safety has two. Viper has three, two, one, one, and everybody's coming. From East Coast of Florida, these guys are these guys are pretty good. Quarterback, quarterbacks coming back next year. Six three two twenty five on the edge, but we can run. So now, what's your change up, Coach? Okay, now we go to a simulator. Now we go to Miami. Okay. So now they give us empty again. We've been giving them zero 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 zero. So now we check Miami. So now it's a it's a three man rush. And now we're playing three deep behind it, but we're still giving it that same Zorro look. So Zorro on Miami is the same exact look. Okay. Viper still has three. All right. You're going to see the corners get out. Our end needs to do a better job here. But again, again, he's on. Okay. We gave him cover zero all the time, all the time, all the time. Now, now we drop out. And we, now we run us three. We drop it. Okay, and he's under duress. All right. So again, same coach to your uh, coach Thomas to your point. Same look, two different pressures. Florida, same look, eight different pressures. Okay, and then um, we get to the uh, exotics in a second, but I wanted to see if there's any other questions. Coach, we see a lot of power run. What are some things that you've done to defend against it? Um, you know, coach, I think that Badger front is really good. Um, let me, uh, I'll pull that slide up. Uh, Badger front, um, uh, coach, coach, if you can type in the chat, are you, are you talking like just like 21 personnel or double tight? Like I, I didn't, I don't know specifically, are you just talking off tackle? Um, if you could just throw that in the, in the chat, I, I, I'd be able to answer your question. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, Coach uh, LeBlanc. Yeah, so um, our kit, like, so we're, we're mostly 11 personnel. Yeah, so Badger, Coach, I'll pull a picture up for you. Badger will be really good for you. Let me just get to Coach LeBlanc real quick. Um, so, yeah, so, Coach, what we're going to do is this year um, we're uh, th with those names, right? So Baylor, Georgia, Florida, um, Badger, and Bear. And then you just package your, your pressures with those fronts. Um, so, like, we know, like, Georgia, we're going to have Buddha, we're going to have Panther, we're going to have – anytime the jack is up on the line for us is Georgia. That's that 425 stuff. Uh, Baylor, we have we have Army, we have Gash. Um, you know, Florida, like, we, we talked with Coach Tom. I, I think the more one word you can be – and, again, I don't know how you guys call defense. Um, I try with wristbands. Um, it, you know, to me, it's like, okay – get the front, get the stunt. And the kids, they know that the one thing I, I give our kids credit is like, they know like Moxie, I don't have to call the coverage. They, they, they know the covers. They know, hey, wherever the Viper is, it's blue. Wherever the Jack is, it's Tampa. You know, with Cincy, they know to the field is Tampa, it's blue to the boundary. You know, fire, smoke, they know it's it's green. It's, it's, it's 303 deep fire zone. So, if you could, if you can build that uh, up with your kids, where they know, like, hey, coach called this, boom, covers, good, bam, done. You know, so that that's something that I I I really like. Me personally, is to be as one word as possible, because again, we see tempo, but we see a lot of hurry up and wait tempo. We don't see like you know old school like Scott Frost, Central Florida, like play is called Josh Heupel this year at Tennessee play. We don't see that. We see get to the line and then signals and signs and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I would definitely recommend that. Uh, Coach Dunbar, let me, let me pull that picture up for you real quick. 
I'm a, I'm a visual guy. Coach, I saw your, uh, your question. Yes. Coverages will be packaged with pressures. Yes, sir. All right. Let me, let me pull the, um, let me pull that up here. Where's that badger? Here we go. Boom. Okay. So coach, you're talking like something like this, right? So if he's off the rovers off, if he's on the rovers on. Okay. And then we always, so basically you're, you're cover one here. Okay. You're cover one. Um, and then you have double edge. You're slanting to the Rover. Okay. Um, we put the mic on the back. Okay. We put the mic on the back. Obviously if the back goes this way. The mic's going to follow. Correct. All right. And then we're cover one, but then, you know, I put down here yellow check. All right. We, we can then double somebody. So if this guy's really good in the slot, but we still want to bring pressure, we can go, Hey man, we're going to go badger yellow. And then we check deuce left. So now he's playing outside leverage. He's playing inside leverage. The corners are, are, are man, the rovers man on him. Um, so I would recommend that. And again, you have edge. So like here, the Viper knows the backs to my side. If the back goes away, I'm playing the quarterback. Okay. I know the mic has the back. All right. So we'll play the mic off like a step a little bit. So if we get a swing, the mic can get around, but then I know I can rush the passer. So it's about being as simplistic as possible. So yeah, Coach LeBlanc, to answer your question, yeah, uh, front, pre front, front pressure and coverage are all packaged. Yes, sir. Yeah. So yeah, it's, like I said, I, I Badger, I like. Um, if you want to play like the our mint stuff and just walk the rover up uh, on the tight end, Coach, you can do that, or you can go to Bear uh, with the rover and a seven technique, and you bring the strong safety down off the outside. I mean, that, that to me, um, you know, again, it's about uh, speed on the field, um, you know, creating havoc. You know, we're, we're, we're real big with, um, you know, uh, Coach Brown, you know, when, when, when we meet, we always talk about the havoc rate. And, um, you know, our kids did a really good job this year. We, our season average was 42%. So that means on it, almost half the snaps in every game, we had a TFL, um, a sack, a turnover. Uh, we count third down stops. Um, so again, it's, it's something that it's, it's a carrot for your kids, right? So I always told our kids, if we were um, 40% or better, you know, we do Wednesday night dinners. So, you know, we, we get to choose something other than pizza or, you know, get a parent to come in and bring something. So it's just another, um, you know, something to kind of just, you know, motivate them, um, you know, especially with the pressure stuff. Um, let me real quick, let me jump, jump back to sharing the screen real quick. Have it great stuff. Oh no, let's. I'll do the exotics first. Um, so a couple I just wanted to touch on with you guys. Uh, the first one here is Vegas. Um, so basically, what this is for us, it's a six-man pressure. Okay. Um, when we get to the end zone, you'll see what I mean. Like we're, we're on these these uh, guys are uncovered. All right. Um, we're playing cover one behind it. Um, we went up to University of Michigan for spring football. This was a pressure that I, I thought our guys would do really well at. And we actually we actually do a good job here. We get pressure on the quarterback. We get a uh, we get a, a fumble caused. Okay, and a, and a fumble recovered. End zone pictures. Um, there we go. Okay, he's standing up now. He's about five yards. So you can see we have. Center's covered. These two guys aren't covered. You're going to see us come with six guys. Okay. So, again, we're going to cover one behind it, but that that's Vegas. Just a different look. Um, you know, like I said, our, our kids did really well. Um, the next one is um, Uno for us. Let me find Uno real quick. Yep, here we go. Okay, so this is Uno from depth, all right? So um, you're going to see uh, a backer wrap here. But Coach um, Coach Thomas and Coach LeBlanc, we will run this out of our Florida front too. We'll, we'll, we'll mug these guys. Now, the rule in our Florida front for Uno is that the linebacker to the side of the back is going to be the looper. 
So he'll switch with the nose. So if we were in our Florida front, the nose would be here. The jack would be here. Every would be, be slanting, lucky, and the jack would loop, and we play cover one behind it. But here we come from depth. Hey, Coach, your Twitter – I think you got your Twitter showing page rather than your huddle. Oh, I do? I could be. Oh, come on, man. That's Sorry about right. that, guys. Thanks, man. Thanks, Coach. I've been talking – I've been talking with my Twitter, Sean, for the next 20 minutes. No, nah, it wasn't that long. Okay. There we go. Do I need to go back and do Vegas, Coach, or no? No. I think no. you're good. Every, if you Put it in the chat if you wasn't good, y'all. Let me see real quick. Okay. I'll, 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 go, back, I'll go back to Vegas, and then I'll do uh, – so again, Vegas is a man pressure. I show these two guys uncovered. We're showing overload to the back. Cause fumble. And again, you guys will see in the end zone here. He's at five yards. These two guys are uncovered. So we got edge here. Everybody coming to the party. Okay. Okay, we get the uh, D end and a linebacker clean, force fumble, fumble recovered. Okay, so that's Vegas. Um, and then let's get to Uno. Like, like I was saying um, uh, before, so Uno, we usually run out of that Florida front. So we usually have the two backers up here. Now the difference with Uno, it's a, it's a rule breaker. Um, so the linebacker to the side of the back, he'll switch with the nose. So like the Jack right here, the jack would be head up on the center and the nose would be here. Everybody would be slanting lucky except for the jack. He's going to loop around for contain. And everybody, it's cover one. And what we do with the rover is, all right, he's in the middle of the field. All right, he's going to, um, he's going to have the back man to man. So if the back blocks, he can add on to an open gap. All right, but here we do it from depth. Okay, force a force a throw. Okay, force a throw early. Corner is a good job. Get a pick out of it. Okay, that's Uno. Um, last one is is uh, Sinbad. Yeah, now Sinbad. Um, we usually overload the side of the back, but because they're unbalanced here. And this was a tendency they showed on film. This was our rivalry game, our, our last game of the year. So we said, hey, Sinbad this week, we're just, we're just going to run it to um, – we're going to run it to the unbalanced. All right? And you're going to see we're going to get uh, – end zone's a little better. But you're going to see we're going to get – we get a cross with the mic. All right? And we get the rover coming hot right here. And he's the one that's going to – he's going to – he's the one that's going to become free. Get a nice hit on the quarterback. And we get a pick out of it. Okay, I'll go back and play that fast motion too. See the end zone shot. Get a nice clean run at him. That was the first play of the game. Good way to start the rivalry game off the pick. Okay. Um, Coach, okay, we see heavy run, 12 personnel pro sets. How do you line up against? Okay, so, Coach, the one thing um, I will say, you need to have a plan for 12 personnel. Um, you know, so whether that's, you know, for, for us, like when we see like a single wing, um, you know, you, you may you may have to just uh, – you take you take a back route and put an extra alignment in. Just, you know, um, you know, know, understand what your kids can do well. And um, yeah, like for, we always have a plan for 12 personnel like that, uh, that to me, that and, and triple option, um, you know, the two tight end, two wide single back, like you're creating extra gaps. So like, yeah, we're going to run bear. OK, but they're forcing you to run zero. Right. Um, you know, and there's only so many ways you can attack that. So I would definitely have some type of uh, like for us, um, it's, it's the bear front. It's the badger front. It's you're rolling the dice. Right. Like. I was talking to a coach the other day 
about some of our pressures. And he's like, well, what if this? And I'm not a what if guy, but you know, when you're at the blackjack table, sometimes you're going to hit on 17, you know? So that's, that's the reality of it. Um, but yeah, definitely have a plan for 12 personnel. Um, 20, 21 badger or bear. Um, if you're comfortable with your guys playing cover one, um, and you know, that, that, you know, to me, that, that, that would really help, help, help you out. Badger to me is great because you're forcing the issue and then you can run badger or Spartan. You can slant to the Rover or away from the Rover. You can play cover one, uh, or you can double somebody. You can play yellow. Um, so yeah, it is, um, does anybody else have any, any other questions? Uh, tonight, I, I'm happy to answer anything with you guys, drills, you know, anything you want to do. Again, I mean, I, I just wanted to give you guys like a basic overview of of um, of the defense. And um, I've had a lot of uh, schools reach out about it. Um, my information is at the bottom if you guys um there's uh the, the the system defense there's uh, a group on facebook if you guys want to find it and just you know re request to be in it i'll add you uh we have the we our website um if there's anything as far as you guys want to purchase courses or um whatever i'll be speaking uh this weekend up in rhode island um and uh yeah like i said i, I really appreciate you guys taking the time i mean I'm, I'm i'm humbled and flattered that you guys would take the time to, to talk some ball and um, if there's anything I could ever do for you guys, um, there are some uh, on the website too. There are some free downloads. So like a call sheets on there. Um, there's a, a, I'm going to put my big new England presentation on there after this weekend. So you guys will be able to access it. A lot of it is what we just did, um, with slides and stuff like that. So you guys will have access to that for free on the website. Um, I mean, that's, that's really it. If anybody else doesn't have any, any questions, I hope, I hope you guys took one thing out of it. Um, you know, and uh, I really appreciate taking the time, Coach. I think. Thank uh, you, PJ. Yeah, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Have a good night, y'all.